I recently read that even if you have nothing in life but a good friend, you're still rich. You see, something that recently struck me as we were studying through the book of Romans is that the Apostle Paul, the guy that's known for his boldness, his wit, knowledge of the scriptures, and tenacity, ability to problem solve, his leadership, his undying passion to see the mission of God extended throughout the world, well, he was rich, rich in relationships. You see, the book of Romans is truly one of the most profound, doctrinally rich pieces of the New Testament literature ever written. But as Paul was closing out that letter, and he had limited time and even limited parchment to write on, it's not like he was writing a blog or a social media post or email where he could just write and write and write for days, kind of like some preachers do, but he lists 29 names of people that were dear to him, people that he partnered with ministry. See, Paul valued people. Paul had friends. Paul was rich in relationships. And relationships are what life's all about. God gave his son Jesus so that you could not be religious, but in relationship with him. In fact, listen to what the word of God says. God, for whom and through whom everything was made, chose to bring many children into glory. And it was only right that he should make Jesus, through his suffering, a perfect leader, fit to bring them into their salvation. See, God so desires a relationship with you that he gave his son to be in relationship with you. So here's my encouragement today. Richness is measured in relationships. Today, thank God and spend time with God because he initiated a relationship with us and invest in the relationships in your life because relationships, people, they're the greatest treasure in life.